Welcome to the new Hewlett Packard Enterprise Around the Storage Block video blog. I'm your host, HPE Storage Guy Calvin Zito. Hey, I have the pleasure today to have a discussion about what's going on in the industry with Manish Goel. Manish, of course, is our, our Senior VP and General Manager for uh, HPE Storage. Manish, uh, lots of stuff going on from a technology standpoint, but I want to talk a little bit more about what's going on in the industry. Uh, tectonic is a word people like to throw around, maybe more than I like, but there's a lot of tectonic shifts going on and lots of big things happening. What, what do you see some of the big things happening in the storage industry right now? I mean, I think the storage industry has never been at the stage of change that it is undergoing right now. Storage was a relatively stable environment for the last three decades. We essentially saw a converged stack breaking into a pure play stack of compute networking and storage. And that's the world in which most of us built our careers. And in the last two to three years, because of both technology drivers like the memory and compute bringing the stack closer together, as well as business and consumption drivers of people wanting to consume things as converge infrastructure are really bringing the stack together and that's forcing an industry structure change. So in the industry, I fundamentally believe that the days of a pure play storage vendor are now behind us. And uh, because a pure play storage vendor cannot take advantages of the fact that in many cases, uh, compute becomes the right uh, infrastructure building block for delivering storage services. Mm -hmm. So, and in fact, you don't need to look any further than the, the proof, for proof point than the number one storage vendor, EMC, selling itself to a much smaller in market cap and size compute generic vendor called Dell. Right. And, and, and that's you don't need to look any further than that to say that's the number one player in the industry throwing in their towel and saying they cannot go it alone. So the NetApps and the EMCs of the world are basically finding out that their glory days of being a pure play storage king are behind them. And the world is moving over to full stack vendors yep. who have compute networking and storage. So I don't want to pick on your old employer, but I know um, for a while I've been looking at what they've been doing and their shrinking market share and thought they just don't, they seem to have not, not really have a clear strategy of what they want to do. They seem to be confused of whether FAST is going to be on, TAP is going to be everything. And, and now they've gone off and have acquired a, another storage vendor. Do you think is, is a, a, a company like NetApp, are they going to be able to survive without being more closely aligned to a, a system vendor? Yeah, I think... The trends that are shaping the future of NetApp are no different than uh, the one that we just touched upon, which is the world is absolutely moving away from a pure play storage vendor. So while a lot of the conversation as it relates to NetApp tends to be about their internal execution, I fundamentally believe that the, the forces that are shaping NetApp's future are bigger than that and really is about the fact that the world is moving to full stack vendors. So is the is the relationship with Cisco not enough to help them? Do you think you know they've, they've already partnering today and they've already you know they're already working together with Cisco? Is what, what, where do you see all that coming together? It's it, the partnerships are ultimately just that that they are partnerships. Of convenience. And well, look at Dell and EMC. That's exactly <laughs> right. So at some point, Cisco needs to have ownership of a storage stack and NetApp needs to have a tighter coupling with compute. Whether or not Cisco and NetApp would ever find a happy marriage or some other ways that problem gets solved, the fact is that both Cisco and NetApp are independently looking to on how they transition to becoming full stack providers. So one last thought about this whole thing to uh, maybe bring it home to what you would help a customer with advice on. And there's a lot of like small startups that, you know, they're maybe financially struggling. You know, a lot of them, their, their, their balance sheets look pretty bad and they're giving product away. But, you know, their technology is, it's, it's decent. And there's a lot of people buying those. I mean, you could rattle off 10 of them, I'm sure. We could just name who they are. Customers that are looking at, at, a, at, a, at a small startup like that, why should they 
consider something different? I, I think the storage startup landscape has always been a very brutal and a very difficult landscape. Uh, historically, only about one out of every 10 storage startups that get funded really survive. So the mortality rate is less than 10%. And most of those 10% of the storage startups that ultimately survive, three par included, became a part of, in most cases, a pure play storage vendor. And now, with pure play storage itself becoming a extinct category and a declining category, the number of potential buyers for pure play storage startups has become even less. Yep. So I think it's going to become increasingly harder for storage startups to find a successful outcome going forward. So as a customer, the question you really have to ask is, is the potential point in time technology benefit that you perceive with that startup, does, is that, does that outweigh the business risk of dealing with a company that has an unclear lifespan? Well, it's, it's, a, it's a fun time to be in the industry, and it'll be very interesting, I think, to look back a year from now and see what's actually going on in the industry. And I think you're right. I think consolidation is inevitable. It'll be very interesting to see what happens with so many startup storage pure plays out there. You know, absolutely. And that's why we play this game, Calvin. One of my bosses used to say that in steady state times are not the fun times. The fun times are when there are major changes taking place because new winners and losers get created in times of disruption. And I think we definitely are in that time of disruption. And the storage industry structure will look very different going forward than it has for the last several years. Yeah. Well, thanks for spending some time talking. It's been fun. It was my pleasure. Thanks for joining me on the Round Storage Block. You can find me on Twitter as Calvin Zito. And you can find my blog at our new blog home, hpe.com forward slash storage forward slash blog.